Yeah, so now in Armed and Gorgeous and the Jaclyn Hill Bolt Collection, I'm going to go in with Access. And I'm just going to be putting that in my crease. And I'm going to be answering the next question, which is, do you eat a lot when you're on your period? I know that's normal for most girls to like eat a crap ton when you're on your period. I'm actually the opposite and I think that's because I don't use ibuprofen or any sort of pain medicine. So I am feeling pain the whole time. Yeah, okay, I can't say that because that's another question. Okay, so I'm feeling pain the whole time I'm on my period. Because I'm feeling that pain, I can't differentiate how do you say that word differentiate differentiate i can't differentiate whether that's pains or hunger so i actually don't really eat much at all when i'm on my period um because i never feel hungry because i'm always feeling pains and it also makes me lose my appetite because i'm just like in pain i don't want to eat so yeah i'm quite the opposite to most girls who like to binge eat when they're on their period I don't like to eat because I lose my appetite from the pains and also when I am hungry I can't tell if it's hunger that's happening in the stomach or if it's pains so yeah I'm actually the opposite which is quite interesting it is what it is so oh well it's okay to be different okay so next question is how do you treat your cramps so because I don't take ibuprofen and I like to just kind of take it as it comes and have it be a natural thing, a natural occurrence because a period is natural, um, dad, it's natural, stop being grossed out by it, go up. Anyways, um, I usually use like hot water packs. So I have a hot water bottle and I'll fill that up with hot water if it's really bad and I'll use that. Um, or if I'm at my boyfriend's house and I forgot to bring it, I'll use a water bottle and I'll make him fill it up with really hot water and put a tea towel around it so it doesn't burn my skin. Usually still does, but not as bad. And, um, yeah, so I'll do it that way or I'll use, like, rice packs and just heat the rice up in the microwave and use that. So basically heat packs, any form of heat pack. Um about it isn't it like I asked my boyfriend to apply pressure to like the area because pressure helps for some reason I feel like some girls are opposite and pressure hurts but with me like applying pressure to my stomach while the cramps are happening helps also applying pressure to my back when my back is hurting helps so yeah I usually get tape to apply pressure to wherever it's hurting um that's if it's really bad though Otherwise, I just kind of deal with it. It's, like I said, it's a natural thing. I just kind of deal with the pain. I don't necessarily have a high pain tolerance. That's not necessarily what you should be gathering from this because I definitely don't. But because it is such a natural thing, I like to try and keep it that way. Um, well, that's just, again, personal preference. Not everyone's going to be that way. Some people are going to think that's stupid. And you do you, whatever. But um, yeah, now I'm just going to go into Smooth Criminal, nice, and um, put some of that in the lower crease and move on to the next question, which is pads or tampons? Okay, so this is another one that people are going to be like, what the heck is wrong with you? Um, I've never tried a tampon in my life. I'm 18 and I've never tried a tampon because those little fuckers scare the shit out of me. Um, they're intimidating to me because you're shoving a bit of cotton up there and that does not seem right to me, like ill. But I know it's a, it's a must for a lot of people, like dancers and stuff like that. I understand why people use them. And like for people that swim a lot like I understand why people use them and like it's a great concept but um no because I'm also scared of toxic shock syndrome and it's a lot more common than people think so I prefer to not get that you know personally um but yeah the little sperm looking fuckers scare the shit out of me so no I don't use them so I'm a pads girl um 
so leaning off that wings or no wings um my mum hates wings so i was always kind of forced to be into no wings because she would just buy no wings without actually asking me um she would explain why and she did explain why but her reasoning i couldn't relate to because it didn't happen to me i can't remember exactly what it was i think it was something to do with like when you go to rip it off and the wings are underneath so you can't you have to like that doesn't happen to me even if i have wings on i can still rip it off and it just un unlatches from the bottom so i can't relate to that reasoning i personally prefer wings because if say like you're sleeping at night time or something if it like starts to go outwards because you build the middle up I don't want it to go outwards into my undies sometimes it's really heavy and it just keeps going um, but yeah the wings definitely help with that not happening as much and um, yeah I definitely prefer wings I think it's a lot cleaner and neater and not as disgusting of a clean up personally I'm a pads girl and a wings girl so the next question is what are the signs that you're getting your period I get cramps a few days before so I already mentioned that um oh is there something oh I think I did want to use coin didn't I yeah okay um what was I saying yeah I get cramps a few days before and that's really fun like, I will it's a good warning good way of letting me know that it's happening um also my boobs hurt like a lot and they get a lot bigger but, like they hurt a lot like a lot a lot like it's really painful um so that's fun also okay going to be taking coin from the same palette um the gorgeous jacqueline hill bolt collection palette and putting that on my uh, lid with my finger because I feel like my finger does it best so that mm, don't take that the wrong way um yeah so I get bigger and very sore boobs cramps I'll get really moody so that's really fun to take <laughs> that's all I can think of right now but yeah they're definitely the top three signs and it's really annoying. Obviously hate having my period. So yeah. Okay, now I'm going to be taking a guilt trip and putting that on my brow bone. Like so. And then I wanna take VIP and put it in my inner corner, but I think it has a bluish purple shift to it. So it won't go with the look. So I'm going to get, I'm going to take ring light from James Charles's palette instead because I know it has a slight gold shift to it, which is better than a blue shift for this look. And I'm going to be putting that in the inner corner instead. The next question is how to talk to your boyfriend about your period without it getting awkward I simply just cannot relate to that question because there was never a point where I found it too awkward to talk to Tate about it because he was always very understanding obviously knows it's a natural thing knows that it's not my fault or whatever um, this is just a OSX studio brow pencil in the shade medium from Kmart um, but yeah he never found it awkward to talk about he was always okay with it you know it's like as a girlfriend so it comes with consequences like periods so there was never a point that I found it awkward to talk to him about it I've never found periods awkward to talk about in general like I'm very open with it like if I know there was several times in high school when teachers would be really annoying and rude and snarky and you'd put your hand up and say I need to go to the bathroom for reasons you know to change and then those really awful teachers I'm talking about the males here I'm um, the females always said yes I've never really had a female teacher that said no because girls know what it's like to have a period so when a girl asks to go to the toilet they let a girl go to the toilet but um 
yeah, the males that are very um, ignorant to the fact that girls have periods would say no quite often and it would be the most frustrating thing. So I would just straight up look them in the eye and just be like, I've got my period. And you'll never see a guy panic so quickly and he's like, oh yeah, go, are you okay? Is everything okay? Yep, go, go, go. Dumb freaking male teachers. So I've never found it awkward because it's just like, it's a natural thing, who cares? Girls get their periods, wow, oh my God, shocker. The guys that are uncomfortable with it, literally just like grow up, do your research, realize that you wouldn't be here today without your mum having it. Yeah, maybe that's a gross thought for you to think about, but it's true, so get over it. But um, yeah, I never really understood that. It's just like literally grow up, but whatever. So I've never had a problem talking about my period. I've always been very open with it. You know, my whole class would then figure out that I had my period once um, I'd announced it to the teacher who wasn't letting me go to the bathroom. This happened several times during high school, several times. So it was never anything new. People knew I didn't really give a shit. Yeah, I can't really relate to this question because um, I don't have a boyfriend that finds it awkward to talk about periods. I have a stepdad that finds it awkward to talk about periods, but I tell him the same shit and I'm just like, oh, dad, grow up. Like, it's natural, get over it. Um, he thinks they're disgusting and he thinks that women are disgusting for having it. That's just his kind of humor though. He's joking when he says that. Um, but he also does have some serious to it because he does find them disgusting in general um but again dad if you ever watch this you wouldn't be here without your mum having it so grow up oh my gosh but um yeah so to answer that question i guess just kind of bite the bullet and just go for it and just be like hey i got my period this and this is happening like if i'm like this understand that it's from my period if i'm really moody towards you understand you shouldn't take it personal um but yeah, like literally just bite the bullet. It's a natural thing. He's going to have to learn that sooner or later. He's going to have to help you sooner or later because there's a lot of points in your life where you're not going to be able to leave the house because maybe pains are really bad or maybe your flow is really heavy and you run out of tampons. He's going to have to run to the store for you. Like all sorts of things can happen. And if he's a good boyfriend, he'll realize that eventually and not treat it as such a happy thing. But like... Yeah, literally, my advice for you there is probably just bite the bullet. It's fine. Everything's going to be okay. It's so natural and it's so okay. Like, So, yeah, that's my advice for that question. Next question is how long do yours last? <laughs> Good question. I'm just going to spray my face with the Mori Badescu spray again. Um, mine lasts the seven days, so the week I get it, it lasts the seven days, which is great. Um, yeah, definitely don't appreciate that, but it is what it is, and you know, whatever. It's definitely the most annoying thing in the world because that's literally. Ooh, no, I think that's too much. I don't know. We'll see. Um. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, I get mine the seven days. Um, and it's like the most annoying thing because that's literally like 84 days out of the year that I get my period for. Which is really annoying. Sorry, I got distracted by my highlight. <laughs> Promise Rain by Adeline. Morin X Tarte palette is amazing. So <laughs> Easily distracted, which is ridiculous. And I hate that because that's literally so much time every single year and for so many years that's going to be happening as well. It's just like the most frustrating thing. But it is what it is and um, yeah, that's my answer to that question. Um, next question, but while I'm doing that, I'm going to be taking on um, the gorgeous again and doing my lower lash line. So I need this one. I'm going to be taking access. And dragging that on my lower lash line. Um, what was it? Do I have a heavy flow or a light flow? Definitely have a heavy flow for the first three, four days, and then a light flow for the rest of it until it hits seven days. 
um, sometimes I get it for eight days, which is even worse. More often than not, I actually get it for eight days, which is really fun. I'm kidding, it's really annoying. I go through a lot of pads, which is really not good for the environment and for the people who are thinking about saying something about menstrual cups. Um, I'm not comfortable enough to use those yet at least because they also freak me out. I know they're a lot safer but like, I don't know, they're huge, I don't know, that freaks me out as well. Um, anyways, so moving on to the next question which is what age did you get it? I said earlier that I got it when I was in year 7 and in September so that means by that point in time I was 13. Um, yeah, because my birthday's in, the, my birthday's the 25th of June, and, um, yeah, like I said, September, so past June, which means I got it when I was 13. Sorry if you can hear the phone ringing, didn't even address it. Telemarketer. No one left a message. And the next question is how sick do you feel on your period? I actually don't really get sick on my period. Like sometimes yeah, most time no. Um oh this is Maybelline The Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. I should know that off by heart by now, but I don't. Um I don't get like sick sick. I get bedridden for like the first two days just from cramps but that's not really sick. I know some people like literally get like cold and flu symptoms and like I do sometimes but not really not often enough to have it be like a oh I get these you know it's like a very on and off thing um so yeah I don't really get sick sick on my period and I definitely don't throw up and no, I know some girls do. I get nauseous sometimes but I have a fear of vomiting so I always make sure it doesn't get to the point where I vomit and I'll just sit there and relax and tell myself you're too scared to vomit in the first place so don't do it. So I'm always pretty good with that and then the last question is just based around birth control. Um, I have taken birth control before um, it was the year before last, 2017, 18. No, that was. When was it then? That wasn't in 2017, was it? I think it was in late 2017 over to early 2018. Um, when I was homeless and living with a different person, I did. She got me birth control. And I definitely stopped taking it after a while because it definitely was not the right birth control for me. The doctor told me it was meant to like take away pains and make it shorter, my period shorter and go for less time. It did not do either of those things. If anything, it made my pains worse and it made me the moodiest person in the world. During those few months that I was taking it, me and Tate were fighting literally like almost every single day and I couldn't really figure out why it was just really, it was definitely just a really frustrating time period because I always felt bad I was just always always angry at him I never well sometimes I had a reason <laughs> but um yeah I never really had a reason and I was just angry oh. and I was just angry at him so often and I mean, he didn't understand why. And then when I stopped taking it, it wasn't because of the moodiness, because I didn't know. Um, I didn't put two and two together. Um, it was just more because I couldn't keep up with it. Like I kept forgetting to take it. So I was like, oh, whatever, this is crap anyway. I don't need it. So yeah, I stopped taking it. And then that's when, you know, we kind of went back to normal. We weren't fighting all the time. And I realized, oh, I'm not moody. What's the one thing that's changed in my life? birth control I haven't been taking my birth control so then I kind of realized oh that birth control was not good for me and then when I had my period after like after I stopped taking it for a while my first time I had my period after that I realized my pains were 
back to what I was used to and were like more normal and stuff like that. And it was just kind of like, that birth control really messed me up, didn't it? But, um, yeah. So, that's my whole thought on birth control. I didn't take the right one, or the doctor didn't prescribe me the right one. And I don't take it anymore. Um, but yeah, that was, that's kind of how that situation went. This terrifies me because this is going to go horribly wrong. Watch. I'm actually so scared. <laughs> I'm not good at doing my lips. Okay, well, let's just look at me from a, a distance because I look horrible. Um, I'm going to apply another thin layer because this is definitely more pink than I thought. And I'm hoping another... Don't speak when you're putting on lip stuff. I'm hoping another layer will hopefully redden it up. Mm, not really. You can see in the bottle it's a lot more red. And when it comes out it's a lot more pink. Mm. The third layer is getting it there. It's like you can see that there's red tones in it. But it also looks horrible. I can't do lips at all, so come for me all you want. I understand why you would. That's it for today's video. So, hope you enjoyed the period talk. I know a lot of you probably didn't. Um, but oh well. So yeah, this is my makeup. Definitely forgot to wipe off the bake. Hold on. My bad. Okay. Now, this is my makeup. And now I'm done. I hope... These questions weren't too <laughs> vulgar in any way, but like again, periods are natural, get over it, it's fine. Um, oh, I'm gonna fall off. I don't see why it's an issue to some people, but um, yeah. Okay. Alrighty, guys, that's it for today's video. Be sure to give it a like and share this video. If you're new to the channel, you should join the family by making the red sub. Ooh, the red subscribe button down below turn grey with the extra addition of the letter D at the end as well. Even though this isn't very red. We're going to ignore that. Um, I upload videos every Sunday and sometimes Wednesday. So be sure to turn on post... Oh, I just touched a spider web with my foot. Um, so be sure to turn on post notifications to be alerted of those up and coming videos as well as following my social medias to be alerted on there also. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and don't forget... Everything is going to be okay in the end, and if it's not okay, it's not the end. Cue the outro.